This sample query shows how to select different time windows for different layers. Okay? So in this specific example, we're going to look at um, agricultural data for the Midwestern US. Specifically, we're going to compare um, the uh, crop planting information together with uh, some weather information. Okay? So let's get started. Initially, we create a new query. We select um, from survey uh, right here the 250 meter resolution uh, crop planting map. So this is from the US Department of Agriculture. And from the weather category, we select prism historical data. And uh, let's pick the uh, daily maximum temperature, for example. Okay. So now, um, when it comes to where, uh, the prism data is only available for the continental US. Um, therefore, you see here the contiguous US has been highlighted already for us. Um, now we can zoom in maybe a bit and select a rectangle somewhere here in the Midwest, like this. Now as to the where, if we take this option off, we can see now we are allowed to choose different time windows for these layers, okay? So for the crop type, let's simply pick January 1st, 2017. And for the maximum temperature, let's pick something like June 2017, okay? So the idea would be roughly speaking that um, from the crop type, one knows what has been planted there, and then one might want to be interested in the temperature to see, you know, how these crops could possibly um, develop. So let's pick next. We don't do any aggregation for this. We give this a name and submit it. So this is very straightforward. Um, to give an idea what the result looks like, um, we ran this query previously. So let's click on this here. So you see, indeed, we have the crop layer. Uh, note that the crop type is categorically encoded. Uh, the codes pretty much correspond to these numbers you see here with this color scheme. Um, if you click on a single point, you can basically see the value here. And um, these uh, numerical codes are consistent with USDA codes, okay? So similarly, we could, of course, select our temperature, which we've, you know, picked here. And again, we select and click on a single point. We also get the complete time series at this point. At the same time, we can launch an animation for this and um, see how the temperature evolved, uh, evolved during the month of June.